Hi, Earth Signs. Welcome to your weekend reading. I'm the Madonna Empress. Welcome back. If you're returning, gang, gang, we are family. I love you, okay? <laughs> How are you doing? I hope it's good. Let's get into your weekend. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the weekend of October 4th to October 7th. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Show me what spirit ally do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn need for the weekend of October 4th to October 7th? What spirit ally do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn need for the weekend of October 4th to October 7th? October 4th to October 7th, please. October 4th to October 7th, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. October 4th to October 7th. Show me the energy. I'm about to say, why is this taking so long? Virgo. Virgo. Okay, so this is earthy. So you get to stay in your vibe this weekend. <laughs> you get to keep your own vibes, your own earthy vibes. But let's see, Virgo. The universe works with me. As you experience changes throughout your life, know that each new shift, know that with each new shift comes a new opportunity. You are organized and reliable. Trust that the universe is the same and keep the faith as the universe is always secretly working in your favor. Virgo was here as a gentle reminder to allow change into your life, especially if you know deep down that it is aligned with your soul's journey. Make goals for yourself and turn to your guides when you feel like you are at a crossroads. Learn from your experiences and apply that knowledge to live a fuller and more enlightened life. So this is like hermit mode. So you could be going hermit mode this weekend. How can I remain positive during changes in life? Um, everybody's kind of getting this, this message of like um, changes and, you know, like getting through adversity right now. So everybody's you know in the same space be gentle with yourself but it feels like there's a need for you to go within and like learn um from your lessons and like take like gain some wisdom from your experiences it's like don't just allow things to happen and things to like hurt you and things to break your heart um, without you completely assessing it honestly with yourself and looking at the full picture and learning from it. Like, okay, what did this person do? How did I respond? How did I react? What did I do? How did this person respond? How did this person react? Who do I want to be moving forward? Uh, how do I want this to look different moving forward? How will I respond differently, right? Like, it's like that kind of energy. And it's not about just this person, just period, any any experience the only thing that you have the control over is yourself so it's just time for you i feel like to go within to reflect make goals for yourself and be honest about what your soul needs this weekend all right all right let's move into the tarot taurus virgo capricorn there you go taurus a libra Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the weekend of October 4th to October 7th. Capricorn, where you at? You've been quiet in this reading. Capricorn, where you at? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. October 4th to October 7th. October 4th to October 7th. For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Show me Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn and the energy they'll be in for the weekend. Show me the energy Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn will be in for the weekend of October 4th to October 7th. Queen of Pentacles, feeling like yourself. This is good. I feel like you're really grounded. So you could be just in your crib, cleaning up. Working from home, possibly. A lot of you are working from home. I'm getting a lot of, like, cleaning up energy for some reason. 
a lot of you could be also resting. I, I am getting like resting, relaxing, watching movies, at home manicures and pedicures. I don't know. I'm getting like a little self care vibe that you're in. Some of you could be feel, feeling like, I don't know, proud of yourself. There could be a, a water sign that's significant for you here. Um, because you've reached some kind of milestone at like work or something. You started making more money or something, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, let's see. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We're, oh, I'm not clarifying yet. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm thinking ahead, way ahead. Show me external energies. Who's coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? What external energies are significant for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Five, five, five on the clock. There is change. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend. I mean, you could be just in hermit mode, right? What external energies are significant for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? The Empress. So there could be a, a Libra or a Taurus for Capricorn and Virgo. Or Taurus, you could be dealing with another Taurus. But there's a lot of this. Somebody, a mom, somebody could be a stay-at-home mom. Somebody could be pregnant. There's a lot of this energy. You see how she's just sitting pretty, period. Very grounded, very abundant. I feel like there's some kind of material wealth coming toward you this weekend, possibly. You feel rich. <laughs> Give me more. What external energies are significant for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? October 4th to October 7th. King of Wands. So there's somebody on that ass. Give me one more card. What external energies are significant for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Give me one more card. Show me the external energies. Of course, it's two more. They always do that. This King of Cups decided to come out in the Eight of Wands. So there could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's like coming towards you or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's in love. So for my ladies specifically, y'all, somebody wants to have a conversation about healing something, how you're a dream come true, possibly, possibly. Um, what was I saying though, y'all? For my ladies, I was saying specifically, some of y'all could be getting into relationships this weekend. You could be feeling like a wifey, like I'm feeling like wifey, like that's my status, that's my position, I'm stay-at-home mom, like... This masculine energy seems to be extremely on somebody's ass. So this, okay, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this could be you. You could be heavily in love and turned on by this. This person could be the focus of your attention right now. You could be coming after this person. You could be coming after this person. Okay, so show me the outcome for Taurus. And we had three kings. We had the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. So it seems like this is a match. It seems like, I don't know yet, right? Because the, the empress is here, all four queens. So we have two kings, and then there was one at the bottom of the deck. Show me the outcome. So the emperor might just be here. Show me the outcome for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend, y'all. So what's the outcome regarding the queen of pentacles, the empress, the eight of wands, the king of wands? Show me the outcome for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend. The world. Ooh, somebody's ending something, walking away, closing one door, closing one chapter to start it. Ooh, what is going on? Somebody's in regret. Someone's in regret? Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. We're clarifying. Now we can clarify. We're clarifying for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend, October 4th to October 7th. We're clarifying for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. What's going on? Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Seven, eight of Swords. Somebody is trapped in their head, y'all. I said that this, this this I said that this Queen of Pentacles could be somebody's focus, but I'm gonna 
Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Why do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn feel like the Queen of Pentacles this weekend? Why are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn feeling like the Queen of Pentacles for the weekend of October 4th to October 7th? Clarify this Queen of Pentacles for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, please. Six of Wands. Somebody wants some? Yeah. I said that too. Like some kind of success, feeling successful, feeling yourself. So I do feel like on a personal level, there is some kind of like victory that you're feeling within. I do feel like you feel like you've leveled up or you have ac accomplished something or you're getting attention from the person you want to get attention from. Give me more on the Queen of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Why do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn feel like the Six of Wands? The Queen of Pentacles to the Six of Wands this weekend. Page of Coins. Yeah, like there's some kind of small investment. What did I say? Who's that? That's the Emperor, actually. I guess I should turn it this way. That's the Emperor, y'all. <clears throat> you feel like somebody, you've got somebody's attention or... You're ready to like make some kind of investment and give someone your attention. Mm -hmm. Clarify this Empress. Who's the Empress coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Or what's these this Empress energy? Clarify the Empress for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend. What's the Empress here? The Ten of Swords, the Page of Swords. So somebody is like ready to end some kind of negative cycle with you possibly. I feel like somebody's watching you and ready to like come in and communicate with this King of Wands. Let's clarify the King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? What's the King of Wands? The Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person wants to Put it into negativity and like move towards some kind of honest, truthful peace <laughs> with you. It's like they want to like cut out the negativity. This person also could be saying that they choose you. This person could say that you are their peace. This person could be saying that they like how honest you are. Clarify this king of cups. What's the king of cups? This person is in love. Somebody has love. A lot of love. Clarify the king of cups here for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What's this? What's this? Clarify this king of cups. I see a masculine energy just getting in their bag real quick. Like... Doing something the right way with the right level of like masculinity and fem femininity, like having some kind of balance between their own masculine and feminine. Not that the King of Cups is feminine, but I'm just talking about the fact that the King of Cups represents emotions, and that's what I mean. If it's a masculine energy, they know how to cater to a woman's emotions with their own i like I don't, somebody know somebody this is a real nigga period i don't know what else to say give me more in this king of cups with the Taurus. well this is a real nigga action that this person is taking i listen okay clarify the king of cups clarify this king of cups though what is the king of cups here for Taurus, virgo and capricorn page of cups yeah somebody's apologizing somebody is is wants i feel like wants peace Somebody's trying to lighten the mood. Somebody's trying to bring some kind of love into a situation. The emperor, I can't make it up. Somebody could also want to get you pregnant, period. All right, so clarify this eight of wands. Yeah, somebody's ready to move something forward. Clarify this eight of wands. What's the eight of wands? Somebody's coming toward you, traveling. Clarify the Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? Five of Cups. This person who regrets. King of Wands. So same energy. This person who regrets possibly being a King of Wands. Possibly not being grounded and stable. Not be, being non-committal. And this person wants to apologize and make things right with you. 
However, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you may have it in your mind that you don't want to start any new cycles with this person. I'm seeing with this Eight of Cups being the outcome. Or this could be this person. Clarify this Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups in the outcome for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Clarify this Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups in the outcome? The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's going back. Yeah, somebody feels like they've... So this is this person coming toward you. They want this new cycle. Or this is you going towards this person. Somebody feels like they've invested. They're going back to what they invested in and to what makes them happy. Somebody feels like they put too much into this to be sad or to walk away from it. Period. This person wants to make it right with you. Like... Why would I walk away and start something new when I didn't spend all this time here? I don't put all this effort. Clarify the world for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Then what's the world? This is some kind of new opening a new cycle, some kind of travel here too. Clarify the world Taurus, for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Clarify the world. What's the world here in the outcome for Earth signs? Ten of Wands, You're putting an end to something strenuous. Having a, I'm hearing a clean slate. Really having a new beginning with something, or completely walking away from something and investing in your own happiness is also a possibility. Give me more in the world. The magician, yeah, manifesting some kind of new reality. Look, can't even make it up. Some kind of new reality. Ace of Wands. Some kind of new opportunity. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I like how this looks for you. Because I feel like these are like honest decisions that you're making this weekend. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For the weekend of October 4th to October 7th. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For the weekend of October 4th to October 7th. Give me some messages for Earth signs. Give me some messages for Earth signs this weekend. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Find ways to lighten up. Have some fun. Yeah, it, did, it does feel like you're very much in your own energy. I did say that this weekend. And very like grounded. I don't want to say stale, but just like I don't know, maybe a little fixed, just like in your own comfort zone. Anyway, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the weekend. Give me some more messages. Why? I don't know why it's taking so long for these messages to come out. Let your feelings out. Wow. All of them, even the ones that scare you. So this could be your energy here with this King of Cups. You like let your feelings out. But this is why it's taking so long because you're kind of like, maybe you're afraid. Give me more for Taurus Virgo and Capricorn. Give me one more. Of course, it's two. When you find something that excites you, go all in and enjoy the ride. That's how. That's the energy that I'm getting here. It's like somebody has this passion to to fix something and like have fun and like be like, no, you make me happy. I invested in this. I don't want to let this go. I want to like bring peace. I see you as my empress. I see you as my king of, of cups. Like, you feel me? Like, it's like somebody is like ready to go all in. I feel. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing. I feel like you need to have some fun towards Virgo and Capricorn. Not for nothing. That was in your reading on Instagram yesterday as well. Like, let loose and not, yeah, let loose. Let loose and relax. Chill. Chill. And this, and I mean, like, be present. Have fun. Choose people who bring out the best in you. Like, Manifest some kind of happiness, some kind of happy new beginning for yourself. And I see you doing that. All right. Y'all got to let me know in the comments what's the dealio. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Have a good weekend.